the Kingdom of Mertana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. The war against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. The convicts took control of Corinius. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. But his former slaves now demanded a high price. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed in exchange of tons of ore. Until the present day. Another convict was brought to the lift. He did not know, but he would change everything. Just you and me, my friend. No weapons, no food, just the simple scroll. Hmm? Who are you and how What's happening down there? Here? What the? Oh! That was close. Oh, shit! One piece. Oh, thank God, no blood. Oh, where's the scroll? Oh, it's all right. Great. Okay. Let's move on. Oh. 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 Right. Okay. Right. Right. Let's light this up. Oh, good. That'll do, I hope. Where are we? What a mess. What's going on here? All right. God damn it. Let's get the hell out of here.
What the heck's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Let's get the hell out of here. God, what the hell? In this place, some people's luck is worse than mine. Let's see. I'll leave it here for a moment. Right. You don't mind if I take this with me, do you? I need it more than you do at the moment. Come on, my pretty. Me. Oh, God damn it. Shit. It's broken. Well, this is better than nothing, I guess. But what the hell? What are you? Okay, easy, boy. Let's make it easy for both of us. Okay, okay, calm down. Worst prison ever. Definitely. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. This doesn't look good at all. What the hell? Damn, man, what a mess. Oh, oh. oh come on. It can't be real. Hello. You've already had your time, right? Then I'll be on my way. I won't be bothering you. Okay, okay, easy now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, let me go. Well, you guys asked for it.
You're still alive. Congratulations on surviving your first day. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Oh, good morning. Yes, I believe I did. Although I don't remember very much of what happened yesterday. You discovered the local fauna. Those beasts are very violent at night. Conversely, they're somewhat more docile during the day. Luckily, I arrived to hunt something for breakfast. Better than you, eh? Their meat is a bit tough, but it tastes better than rookie meat. By the way, we haven't been introduced. My name is Diego, and I'm the leader of the shadows in the old camp. I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's not important. You're a convict in the colony now. New prison, new life. That's what people say anyway. I'm gonna call you Rookie. All right with you? Hey, that scroll belongs to me. Yes. I borrowed it while you were asleep. Don't worry, Rookie. I'll give it back to you when we leave. It's an unusual document. Normally, Rookies come in here with scrolls listing their crimes. <laughs> that legal formality is meaningless here. It doesn't matter what crimes you committed outside. You'll have plenty of time to work them off here. <laughs> If you live long enough. Yours, on the other hand, is special. It's red and carries a lacquered seal. It's a scroll intended for majors. What should I do with the scroll? Well, Rookie, there are things more dangerous than wild animals in this place. For example, the ambition of many prisoners and how little other people's lives are worth. In your place, I'd keep my mouth shut until I found one of the mages. Although in your situation, <laughs> That's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle of the old camp. The only way people can get in are Gomez's men. So, now you know. If you want to find them, first, you'll have to join the old camp. There's no other way. Well, I'll have to report yesterday's attack to Gomez. Shortly. But before we leave here, do you have any questions, Rookie? So what do I need to know about this place? <laughs> Let's start with the basics. We call it the colony, and we produce ore for the king. At least that's what we do at the old camp. Inside the barrier, there are three camps. And if you want to stay alive, you'll have to join one of them. The old camp is the largest and oldest of the three. And, well, part of my job is also to tell the new arrivals that it's the best place for them.
How do I find the old camp? Take this path. Past the clearing with the old tree, there's a guard post. And an abandoned mine. If you go through it, you'll get to the old camp. However, the door is closed for security reasons until I issue the order to open it. I'll go there after breakfast. You can come with me if you want. Let's say I want to join the old camp. What do I have to do? That would be wonderful news. No doubt about it. You should go to the castle gate. There, you'll find a man called Thorus. Tell him I sent you. Thorus isn't the friendliest person on the planet, but he knows what he's doing. He'll tell you who you have to win over to be accepted. Earlier, you mentioned someone named Gomez. Who is he? Gomez is the leader of the Ore Barons. He's the head of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. He's responsible for guaranteeing the ore shipment to the king and maintaining order in the only civilized zone inside this barrier. He's rather... peculiar. A man of refined tastes and expensive indulgences. You'll see what I mean when you get to know him. And what about the other camps? <laughs> Listen, Rookie. Alongside the old camp, the new camp and the sect are nothing more than carnivals of mayhem and looting. In the old camp, you'll encounter people from those places who can better explain to you how things work here. As for me, I'll just tell you that the people in the new camp are a bunch of thieves and no scruples. And the people in the sect are all madmen, obsessed with certain herbs. <laughs> As you can see, I'm speaking from a position of absolute impartiality. <laughs> Why did you help me? You were in trouble, and I happened to be passing by. Call it honor. Call it justice. No one should have to fight without a decent weapon and a fair shot at winning. But above all, I helped you because you're a rookie, and my job is to give you rookies an opportunity. Look, Rookie, the colony is very dangerous. And even more so at night. Never leave the camps without being properly equipped. Besides, all you newcomers have the curious habit of getting yourselves into trouble. But I won't always be around to help you. Hmm. Speaking of trouble, the scavengers were about last night. Did you see the attack on the lift? No. I arrived before the attack and got lost in a forest. Hmm. I see. It's odd, because the only shipment from outside yesterday was the night one. Well, <laughs> it's probably my mistake. In the colony, one loses all sense of time, among many other things.
So what do I need to know about this place? <laughs> Let's start with the basics. We call it the colony. And we produce ore for the king. At least that's what we do at the old camp. Inside the barrier, there are three camps. And if you want to stay alive, you'll have to join one of them. The old camp is the largest and oldest of the three. And, well, part of my job is also to tell the new arrivals that it's the best place for them. Thank you very much. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. You showed promise in the fight, but that's not going to do much good without a weapon. And there are also lots of wild beasts between here and the camps. It would be folly to travel unarmed. You can start by taking a look around the exchange zone, near the elevator. I'm sure you'll find something useful there. When you get a decent weapon, come back and well go to the old camp together. Haven't you found the weapon yet? Hurry up, Rookie. I can't wait here all morning. I'm not going to tell you a second time. Put away your weapon! You're the new guy who arrived last night, aren't you? Yes. Diego told me all about it. A spectacular welcome here. Eh? I'll say. Well, newbie, I hope you're having a good time on your side of the door. Because you won't be able to get to the other side. What? Why not? Diego's orders. Until he returns, I can't open the door to you or anyone else. Are you sure there's no way I can get through the door? <laughs> well, it looks like we have a new merchant in the colony. Well, let's do some business. Maybe you can help me with a little problem. I had a horrible night. Well, I think I did. I went a little too far with the beer and the dice, I guess. Maybe you know how this usually ends. My head is about to explode with a hangover. My colleagues loot and boring morning guards. So you could bring me something for the headache? A 
strong painkiller. If you bring me something really useful, maybe I'll let you in. Hmm. All right, I'll see what I can find. That's great. The gate and I are waiting for you. This smells awful. How can they use this garbage to lure wolves?
Oh, awesome. I don't think Gomez will miss this. Hey! Oh, hello. I didn't hear you coming. I'm looking for, well, clues about last night's disaster. I see. <clears throat> well, I have to settle this soon. Gomez has little patience, and I have other, more urgent problems to attend to. So, you are... I'm Caden, guard of the Exchange Zone. This week I work the morning shift. And this is Rufus. Well, what remains of him? He had to work the night shift. So as you can imagine, I feel particularly fortunate. Now it's up to me to find out what the hell happened here. 
and try to recover what might still be useful for the old camp. What kind of problems do you have that are so urgent? Well, you see, in the old camp you can never trust anyone, and even less of those who call you friend. Two of these friends, Cyrus and Betty, took advantage of the fact that I had to come here to steal from me a very valuable pendant. They know it's important to me, but they would sell their mother in order to get some ore in the black market. What does the pendant look like? You'll recognize it easily. It is made of metal and has the shape of the god Adonis. No incrustations, no jewelry, no magical powers. It doesn't have much value. Clearly, it was stolen out of spite. Who are these old friends? They were more than friends. In fact, they were former business partners. We had our differences, and in the end, we decided to dissolve the business. But I never thought they would dare steal from me. Okay, let's be clear. If I help you, what can you give me in return? Hmm. A businessman. That's the attitude. I like you. Tell me, what are you looking for? Or well, what do you need? We can start there. Well, a decent sword would do me good. A weapon that is easy to obtain and has no owner, if you know what I mean. Oh, I understand. Okay. I won't tell Gomez anything, if you don't tell anyone about our little deal. Okay? Okay, we agree then. The pendant in exchange for the sword. By the way, where can I find Saras and Beric? They've gone to the woods, near the bridge, I think. Be very careful. They are violent people. You'd better be prepared for anything. What do you think you're doing, Rookie? Okay, I'm sorry. My mistake. It won't happen again. I'm sorry, Betty. It's the best for everyone. You! Caden sends you to kill me, right? Frickin' bastard!
Oh, wait. Don't kill me. Let's talk, please. No. Please. Hey, Caden, I'm back. I think I've been able to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow, that was fast. Okay, tell me, did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There was a pendant. It's probably already been sold on the black market. What? No, that's not possible. They would never have sold the pendant on the black market. You're lying. It was you who said Saras and Berig robbed you in order to sell it. There was no pendant, but I almost died trying to get it back. Okay. Well, all right. Maybe I invented some context to convince you. In any case, what happened to Saurus and Berig? Are they still alive or not? When I arrived, Beric was already dead, and Saras attacked me. I had no choice but to kill him. I don't get it. You killed Saurus and Beric, and they didn't have the pendant. I don't know. There's something here that doesn't fit. Are you sure you searched the bodies well? Well, look, I can't waste any more time with you, okay? Take the sword and get out.
I think I have something for your headache. Something really strong. Oh, a Seraphis. Thanks for picking it up for me. I'll get a dime for it in the old camp. You can't imagine how many beers you can buy with just one of these. Wait a minute. You didn't want it for your headache? Ah, not really. Hangover and I are first cousins. And you don't abandon the family, you know. Anyway, thank you very much. See you around. Hey, we had an agreement, remember? A painkiller if you opened the door for me. First of all, an honourable and upright old camp guard would never let himself be bribed, man. And secondly, I said maybe I could open it. I never said I would. Well, welcome to the colony, Rocky. <laughs> Not bad, right? Well, it's not the best sword I've ever seen, but it's much better than what you had before. At least you'll have a real chance of winning a fight with this one. Anyway, you've already found something to defend yourself with, and this meat is inedible. If it's all right with you, let's go to the old camp. What do you think of Kader? He gave me the sword. He's not a bad guy, but he's a survivor, and he's been surviving for a long time. You should be wary of him. This sword has a price, and Caden knows it. Always bear in mind that, in the colony, decisions have consequences sooner or later. Let's go. Great. Follow me. So, Rookie, quite a show yesterday, eh? Okay, all of you stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Very funny. The scene was actually pretty comical. At least to me. That's because it wasn't you risking your neck. If I'd have had a good sword, the fight would have gone differently. Of course. The champion of Corinis single-handedly defeats an army of nocturnal beasts. <laughs> I had them right where I wanted them, but then you had to come along. By the way, where are we? It looks like a theatre. It's actually an ancient temple that has seen different gods. You know, Inos, Adanos, and there you have him, Belia. It doesn't really matter anymore. If this is such an important zone, isn't it dangerous to have predators around here? Yes, and that's why we prefer to work during the day. The animals are starting to do stranger and stranger things at night. Why's that? I don't know. It might be the magic of the barrier, or because they've been trapped in the colony for so long. I see. Incidentally, Diego, are there many rookies in the colony? Few alive. Even fewer sane. Out of the new arrivals, I believe just you. 
Even so, being the old camp's nanny is no easy task, as you saw for yourself. Well, you're pretty good at it. You look like you've been doing it all your life. No, Rookie. Before landing in this cesspool, I had a more comfortable life. And a more interesting profession. Like everyone, I guess. Look, there's the guard post for the trade route. <laughs> Only two men guarding it. Yes, but what a pair. Especially Ori, he's a real character. Grouchy, loyal to the old camp, and a magnificent warrior. Whether it's with a sword or in a beer drinking contest. We hardly even had two beers yesterday. Of course, Ori, don't you worry. It happens to the best soldiers, although less to the sober ones. Let me guess. Before you got here, you were a hitman. Or more like a bounty hunter. Am I close? Not even for a moment. And I doubt you'll be able to guess. By the way, does the name Gerbrand mean anything to you? No, I've never heard of him. Good. Better for you. So, you're not going to tell me what you did before and what brought you here? No, Rookie, we're still not at that point in our relationship. When we are, you'll know it. Damn. Oh, hi, Bloodwin. I didn't expect to see you here. I thought Gomez was going to send Jackal. Nah, Jackal has to supervise the South Zone. So it's my turn to control the North Access to the Exchange Zone. And who the hell is this? Another of your clumsy apprentices? <laughs> I hope this one at least knows how to hold a sword. Yeah. I can defend myself better than you think. Trust me. Yeah, he's right. So far he's survived his first day, which is no mean feat. Anyway, are we going to the old camp now? No, Diego, I can't leave yet. I have to settle a debt with Drax and Radford as soon as possible. This new camp crap is really insistent, you know? Who are Drax and Radford? They are new camp hunters who normally work near the north gate of the old camp. And like good new camp scum, they can't be trusted. Yeah. They'll try to stab you in the back as soon as you turn around. An old camp soldier in debt to the new camp. Strange, isn't it? Watch your tongue. I am an old camp guard. Not one of your kindergarten friends. <laughs> I don't have to give you any explanation. I need snapper meat and a wolf tusk, that's all. That was the agreement. And the sooner I fulfill it, the sooner I'll forget about them. Well, I think you got a mission, rookie. Wait, what? Don't worry, Blood. He'll bring you what you owe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> This guy could barely kill a cockroach. Hello, I'm here. Believe me, he has several hidden virtues. He only needs training, that's all. Have you seen any wolves or snappers nearby? Yeah, at the top, near the watchtower. I saw a wolf, and around the area, a snapper trying to catch some unsuspecting animal. 
What the hell is a snapper? You know, the snappers. You fought them last night. They're a little bigger than the scavengers. Don't worry, I'm sure you can handle them. Well, actually, the scavengers are the snapper's menu. Anyway, it'll be fun to see what you can do, kid. Bring me the snapper meat and the wolf's tusk, and we'll keep talking. This smells awful. How can they use this garbage to lure wolves?
Closed. I'll need something to open it.
You're back. What do you... Wow, you're back. <laughs> and in one piece. I wasn't expecting this. Yes, it's been a very easy mission. It was enough to slay a huge wolf and a killer snapper, and all with this crappy sword. I told you, this guy has what it takes to do the job. Good job for a rookie. Take this, and remember, you can always come to me at the old camp. Well, that's very generous of you. Not generous. Smart. If you need protection, I can provide it. Eh, for a small price. As long as you can afford it, of course. Yeah. Bloodwind doesn't lift a finger if there's no ore involved. That's his philosophy, isn't it? Eh. More or less. Well, rookie. Now I need you to go up to the watchtower and extinguish the beacon. You remember I'm new here, right? What watchtower? In the colony, we use old abandoned towers to send messages remotely. A good flame is usually seen many miles away. That's it. Normally it would be enough to knock on the door. But after the incidents of last night, Gomez has improved the security. And that's why the old camp soldiers will only open the door if they see that signal. And where's the watchtower? You can go up the road or take the elevator, as you prefer. It's at the top, near where Bloodwind saw the snapper. Once you're there, you can use this key to open the door. All right, I'm on it.
Welcome to your new home, rookie. And this is just the beginning.